Hi everyone, this is Grace, how are you? As you know, this is the book I highly recommend you to read, The 100 Year Life, written by a professor of London University, University Business School. According to the book, we would be living up to age 100 and most likely we would be working until age 80 or so. So my passion is to empower women and my passion is to have everybody, including you, to redesign your life plan and redesign your lifestyle so that you can live comfortably. Hi, Ricky, how are you? So that you can live comfortably up until age 80 or age 100. And I am a very practical person. You know, my frustration was I published seven books in four different countries, one in US Amazon. Thank you so much, Ricky. When my book came out, maybe 2010 or something, I don't remember because it was already passed. Uh, my book became number two in US Amazon. And uh, oh, good to see you, really. Thank you so much, Ricky. And but still, I was frustrated because you know, people was inspired by reading my books, reading my magazine article. They get inspired by coming to my seminar. But my frustration was once they go home, put their children to bed, and the next morning, they have to wake up to prepare the breakfast, pack the lunch. They will forget what they have learned from me and their life is the same. Their, ne their life never change. So that's why I always wanted to do something to help people out, to use some kind of a business model, have them all jump into it and I take their hands and help them to go through, go through the learning process because I believe the amount of money you receive is great proportional to your personal development, how big your heart is. Really, I truly believe in that. So that's why I've been searching and searching because I made my asset in a real estate investment, but to do a real estate, you must have a six figure cash sitting there as a down deposit, down payment. So that's not for my audience. Then I thought about stock or FX or rather investment, but you know what happened in year 2008 financial crisis. So that, that's not good for my audience. Then I came across with one particular company around 2012. That was a multi-level marketing, but I thought that's a good start to help people to learn what the business is. Because me, I'm already established business owner, but never done networking, ma network marketing. But uh, it depends, you know, once I found this particular company, I thought it was legitimate, it's good, but anyhow. So, and uh, for since 2012, I have been doing weekly webinar all by myself, try to teach them something, try to share some inspiration story. So today, I'm going to repeat the same thing that I did on my weekly webinar around 2013 or beginning of 2014. And then the theme is how to shift your mind, how to change your, we call it paradigm shift. If you are about my generation, when I was going to college, the paradigm, the word paradigm is a big buzzword at that time. Paradigm, paradigm shift, new paradigm, and so forth, so forth. But anyhow, so you, if you know that word, oh, thank you, Cody, if you know that word paradigm, most likely we will be the same generation, X or whatever. So. I use one particular brand and their business model to show you how to change your paradigm shift. Okay, this is a, I don't know Cody, you are a man, but this is for women, you know this brand. This is called Goyard. It is a French brand and uh, their famous one is this tote bag. So Goyard 
is not as famous as Louis Vuitton. However, Goyard and Louis Vuitton were established or founded about the same time. Actually, Goyard started even few years earlier than Louis Vuitton. And at first, they were very similar. Goya used to be just like Louis Vuitton, the brown background, and they had this, you know, pattern. And then the difference between Goya and Louis Vuitton is Louis Vuitton, that logo, you know, the LV and the kind of round flower and the star, those were print. So they have a brown canvas and they print it. And then they have a PVC coating. On the other hand, according to what I read, Goyard is also on the canvas, but the, this pattern is not print. They say this is the hand painted. And I kind of believe in that. If you touch the surface of a Goyard, you can feel that texture that somebody, you know, this every, single white dot, dark brown dot, beige dot, and this, the name, logo, everything, it's all by hand. It's not print. And also, it's not PVC coating. It's, uh, they say, rubber or something. But anyhow, what I want to say is Goyard has a better quality than Louis Vuitton. However, as you know today, Louis Vuitton, Everybody around the world know what the Louis Vuitton is, and everybody, almost every girl around the corner has a Louis Vuitton purse. Not so much Goyard. You know why? I think because Goyard did not have a good marketing or sales department. And perhaps they were more traditional, old-fashioned business. They think, well, we don't need to be uh, working with the mass market. We are high class, we only deal with, you know, affluent, wealthy clientele, maybe. But then what I found out, so 19, 1989 was my first trip of the European excursion. And then, of course, I went to Goyard store in Paris. But again, at that time, Goyard was very similar to Louis Vuitton, dark brown with this pattern. So I didn't like it because I don't like brown color. It's not my color. I like black color, but not brown. So anyhow, but then lately after 2000, I noticed uh, this Goyard change it because around 2000, no, no, 1990, I heard, I was told Goyard really had a financial problem. The company was really having a hard time. And then there is a wealthy investor who loves Goyard. So this person inject the capital, try to turn the Goyard around. And the one thing this person did, he's very smart. Goyard used to be like this pattern. He make it this way. See, this pattern become this. And also, as you see, he start using different colors. So. This is orange, so, so they don't have brown anymore, the traditional color, because so much like Louis Vuitton. So now today, Goya has orange, yellow, red, green, blue, black, white, and uh, gray, and maybe beige, something like that. So see, they have so many fun colors. Then they can attract person like me because I don't like brown colors. I don't want to have brown Louis Vuitton. I don't want to carry brown Goya. But if it's fun and a fun color like an orange, I buy it. Or yellow, I have it. I have red. I, so now I become like a Goya collector of different colors. And again, the pattern, your logo, you know, many companies really stay hang on to their logo, but if your business is not doing right, you might want to turn it around. And personally, I like this pattern this way because it looks like a Y shape. To me, I'm such a positive person. When I see that 
letter Y, it looks like this kind of person. The person with a big head, open arm, having a good time, positive energy. That's how I felt it. So when I saw this kind of Goya after year 2000, I said, is this the Goya that I used to know? This way, and the dark brown? It's fun. So that is the point, uh, you know, point of my today's life. If you get stuck, why don't you have a paradigm shift? Just to change your mindset, change how you see the things, rather than having this logo this way, make it this way. Or rather than just stick to the traditional dark brown color, you might want to have all those fun colors. And likewise, your business, your work, your investment, if you get stuck, if you get stuck, that's a you know, big G's wake up call. You have to wake up, do something else to get out of the box, okay? So that's why it's important. Don't have your prejudice. Don't have your per perception. Have a paradigm shift. Change your mindset. So like this uh, MLM, I used to have a negative feeling about MLM. But now I am a business owner myself and I know those franchising. I know having a chain stores. To me, like MLM is a very good legitimate way to do business with a small capital. That's good for average people, not the real estate investment that I do like me. You must have a big cash city, but MLM or small investment, whatever, you can have more opportunity. The more open-minded you become, the more opportunity you would attract. Okay, that's all for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.